So we made it. We're here in the deep winter, um, the solstice. Um, I, I had, I've had this most amazing journey with this deep, um, you know, that realization that I had no idea of the science of deep or I have no idea actually what other people think about deep. And then I realized that's exactly it. It's not about what Kira thinks about the summer winter solstice. It's what you think about your winter solstice. It's each of us have to cultivate our own knowing, our own connection. And that happens through the sensations in our bodies, um, managing and feeling our wellness and noticing what arises in us, noticing our reactions, our responses. And that's been to the light, um, to the deep of the year, to our own bodies, to everything. And that's what we've been cultivating on this journey of deep. And so, yeah, what is your relationship to the winter solstice? Now, somebody texted me to say that they were excited about the winter solstice for the first time ever. Um, for me, it's the reset. It's the, um, the acknowledgement of the, it's like the rocks moving inside of me as we journey down into the dark of the year. And then these moments of heartful, awesome, epic sun, I just like, it's like my whole being resonates with the light. Um, so thanks so much uh, for bringing me into relationship with my solstice, my sun, my deep winter and I hope that you've connected with yours so tell me maybe after today's class you know 21 days of deep or maybe after the solstice class that's even more exciting uh, well not even more exciting that's also exciting um so come let's move uh, come into your child's pose coming down and as we always do just begin to connect into your body What are the sensations of you this morning? You know, what is the feeling tone of you now in the deep winter on the solstice day? Like, what would you, you know, how would you name this as a feeling tone, as a felt sense? How has this journey of 21 days been? How is it landing into you now? Nice, reach your hands forward, come into your cat, rounding your back, arching your back, lift your chest, look forward, rounding your back, lift your chest and looking forward, really feel the song of your spine, round your back, lift your chest and looking forward, nice, look over your right shoulder, lean deeply, breathe deeply, feel the length through the left side of your body really lean like like the the motorbike leaning where your hips really travel very far towards the left and then do the same to the right so look over your left shoulder and drop your hips as far to the right as you can really feeling the length and the breadth of you and then do that again over towards the right with your head hips to the left Cool, we found a new motorbike. <laughs> and another way, lean to the left. Uh, no, look to the left, lean to the right. And then all the way back to center. Bring your hands, one hand print forward from where you are. Round your back deeply and sit your bum back. And then when you're down here, arch and look forward and travel forward with your back arching. So begin to flow, rounding your back. Draw your bum back, arching your back, glide forward. Rounding your back, pull back, arching your back, glide forward. So hear the song of your spine. 
rounding back, arching forward. One more time, rounding back, arching forward. Nice, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, just shoulder shrug, squeeze your shoulders back, shoulders forward, shoulders go back, shoulders forward. One more time, shoulders go back and shoulders go forward, push back into your downward dog. And if you're choosing to be in stillness in your downward dog, then go for that. Or if you're choosing to wiggle in your downward dog, do that. If you're choosing to really hear the flow of your spine, like how do you really listen in, connect? Life is motion, you know, you are, in motion inside you every cell is moving every drop of blood is moving every muscle is stabilizing and balancing and then now we're also moving yeah it's amazing drop your knees to the floor and bring your elbows down and just make fists and roll into your wrists big circles and then roll in the other direction Open your fingers wide, make fists. Open your fingers wide, make fists. Nice, hands to the floor, rise, and then walk forward. Bring your elbows to your knees. And just pause there. Just have a sense of really resting your elbows down into your knees. Nice, bring your hands to your knees and really feel like your hands are deeply resting into your knees. And then pull your right elbow back and reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. And begin to straighten the right leg. And then bend the right knee. <laughs> straighten the right leg. And then bend the right knee. Nice. Bring both hands to your knees. Really feel that you're dropping your weight down into your hands. And then draw the left elbow back and then stretch it up. And then straighten the left leg and bend it. Straighten the left leg and bend it. Nice, both hands to your knees. So if that felt strong enough, stay there or draw your right elbow back, reach it back. Either straighten and bend your right leg or lower your left hand down with your left knee bent and touch the floor. Bring your hand back to your knee. Touch down with your left hand. Come back up. One more time, touch down. And back up, nice, change. Reach your left elbow back, reach your left hand up, stay here, or reach your right hand down, touch. Right knee stays bent, hand to your knee, touch, hand to your knee, one more time, touch, hand to your knee, nice, both hands to your knees, round your back, arch your back, lift your chest and look up and forward, round your back. Lift your chest and look up and forward. One more time, round your back. And arch. Cool, standing all the way up. Stand to the front of your mat. I think like my head's pretty chopped off today. So I don't know what happened to that. So um, standing to the front of your mat and then <laughs> reach your arms wide. So oh, actually, before you do that, we've been doing sun salutations for the whole of deep. And so sun salutations, it's salutation to the sun. It's like this honoring of the sun. And um, so today we're going to add a little bit more sun worshipping into it. Um, so stand to the front of your mat as you are, and then reach your arms up and reach up. And as you reach up, really feel like you're reaching towards the sky and the sun and the, the vast universe beyond. Infinity and beyond. And then bending your elbows, bending your knees, bring your hands down, forehead to your knees, hands to your shins, lift and look forward. Nice. Hands to the floor, stretch your right leg back and drop your right knee to the floor. Reach your hands forward and then up and again, honor the spaces around us. This amazing planet we live on and then the vastness of the universe. Nice. Hands come down. Stretch your back leg, step back into your plank. Knees to the floor, belly to the floor. Elbows down, and then look for the sun. Oh, really 
draw your shoulders down, lengthen. Nice, right hand to the floor, rise and look, seeking light, seeking reflection in the room around you. Coming down and then left side, seeking reflection, light in the room around you. And down, elbows stay where they are, push back, push back, push back. Step your right foot forward. Turn your back foot at a 45 degree angle and then rise, reaching up and again, reach towards the sun. Feel your heart extending out through your fingers. Breathe, really deepen your breath. Nice, coming all the way down, hands to the floor, step forward. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees, slowly rolling up, reach your arms wide, reach up towards the sun. Bending your elbows, bending your knees all the way down, hands to the floor, forehead to your knees, hands to your shins, lift your chest and look forward. Hands to the floor, step your left foot back, drop your left knee to the floor, rise and lift towards the sun. Nice, lowering your hands down, step back into your plank, knees down, belly down. Elbows to the floor, rise and seek the sun or the light around you. Right now, what do you see? Is there a shiny surface, something reflecting the light of the Christmas tree or the candles or the lamps around you? Bring your right hand to the floor, seek reflection again, light reflections in the windows. And then go to the left, light and reflection over here. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Elbows to the floor, reverse back, hands to the floor, push back and bring your left foot forward. Turn your back foot 45 degree angles and then rising up, back leg is straight, front knee is bent. Reach and feel, extending, breathing. Nice, bring your hands down to the floor and then turn your toes towards the right side of your mat and walk your hands until they're in the middle. And then bend your right knee. And then bend your left knee. Bend your right knee. Maybe you come up on the toes a little bit. It helps you go down a little bit deeper maybe, or maybe not. See what you need to do for your knees, your thighs. As always, we're cultivating that which is well for you, not what it looks like. Maybe you're dropping down onto your toes and you're lifting so that you're only your heel is on the floor on the other straight leg. Nice. Come to center, both legs are straight and then bend both knees and deeply dive with your hips. And now stay low and travel from side to side. So your knees stay bent and you're just gliding from one side to the other side. So you're staying really low with your pelvis. Nice, stretch through your legs. Walk your feet a little bit closer. Cool. Bring your right fist to the floor, pull it back into lawnmower. And then bring it to the floor. Bring your left fist to the floor, pull it back into lawnmower. Bring your hand to the floor. Right elbow pulls back, pause there. You can turn your head if you wish. You can reach your hand up towards the ceiling, but only if your shoulder feels like that's something nice for it. Otherwise, keep your elbow into lawnmower. Really breathing. Use your hand on the floor to lengthen the whole of your body. Bend your elbow, hand to the floor. Left fist comes down, pull your elbow back and spiral. Maybe reach your hand up. If your shoulder feels comfortable, if it doesn't, then just keep your elbow into lawnmower. Bend your elbow, coming all the way down. Walk your hands out forward. So it's just your fingertips on the floor. And just sink a bit deeper down. Feel your breath. Connect into it. Let yourself be moved by your breath. Mm. 
Nice, hands to the floor. Walk your feet in, walk your feet in, walk your feet in. And then drop your knees down behind your hands. So you might have to walk your hands a bit forward or back or be kind of in a kneeling position with your hands on the floor. Hands on the floor, yes. And then turn your knees over towards the right and sit your bum down. And then just swing your legs out forward in front of you. I'll roll into your shoulders, big circles. And just feel that in the collarbones, the shoulder blades, the neck. And then roll in the other direction. Really get yum. Like feel like your neck is really enjoying this. Like feel into that your spine is helping you do this. You're all connected in the most awesome way. Really cultivate that connection. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. Your feet are in the far position, so they're not close to you. I may be two feet out from my pubic bone with my heels. Holding on to your shins, lift your chest and look upwards. Nice. And then drop your head down and reach your fingers forward. And draw your hands back, hold on to your shins, lift your chest and look upward. Seeing the sun or the light above you. And then reaching forward, drop your head down. Just have a sense of the space around you as you arch and look upwards. And as you round and draw forwards. One more time. Arch, looking upwards. And then come to a neutral. Interlock your fingers. So imagine that you're holding on to a, a massive wooden spoon. And you have to stir a massive pot in front of you. And so as you stir, you're reaching out forward and coming back. Oh, this feels so witchy. Oh, it's like this amazing witchy feeling. And then in the other direction. Years ago when I lived in India, there was this, um, in, they don't have, in the place that I was down in Tamil Nadu, they didn't have knives uh, for chopping vegetables. They had a, a blade that would stick up out of a piece of wood. And then they would push the vegetable into the piece of wood and they would hold it between their feet. So, oh, so beautiful to watch the women cutting vegetables. Yeah, so beautiful. Come back to center. Glide forward with your hands as far out as they go. And then glide back, really leaning back as far as you can go. <laughs> Gliding forward. And then leaning back. And just feel that in the deep of your belly. The deep of your spine. Gliding forward. And coming back one more time. Gliding forward and gliding back nice sitting up tall bring your feet a little bit closer now great and then reach both hands forward in front of you drop your right hand down and hold on to maybe the left ankle would be a great place to hold on to <laughs> reach your left hand up towards the ceiling and lean down towards the right and then come back up to center so just feel your side body like how do you lengthen into this well just travel in and out. How do you feel and deepen through the breath, through the movement, through you? I'm turning my head, I'm looking a little bit towards the left to counterweight the movement. I'm pulling strongly with my right hand to really support my torso. Nice, other side. Bring your left hand down, hold on to the right ankle, reach your right hand up and dive. And just feel the side of your body as you glide in, as you come out, as you glide in, as you come out one more time, gliding in and coming out. This time we're going to hold it. So bring your right hand down, lift the left hand up and then reach towards the right and just pause. Use your breath, really get deep into the left side of your belly, the left arm. If for any reason your arm is uncomfortable, then just bend your elbow and keep the stretch in your waist. Okay. I know who you are. <laughs> yeah. And so reaching, lengthening, really breathing into your belly, maybe turning your head a little bit towards the left. And coming back, other side, reach the right hand up, holding on to the right ankle with your left hand. Glide, holding it there. Again, if your shoulder or elbow is uncomfortable, bend your elbow and keep it in the waist. 
Breathing, lengthening, turn your head a bit towards the right. Man, coming all the way back to center. Nice. Twist towards the right. So bring both hands forward, pull the right elbow back, and hold on to the right knee with your left hand and just get really big and beautiful, really powerful in your body. And feel it from the inside. Really embody a sense of wellness and yumminess and deliciousness that's yours to own because it's, it's in you, this feeling. Really feel it, breathe into it, know it. Be yum. <laughs> and then come back to center. Draw your left elbow back. Hold on to your mm, left knee with your right hand and be yum over this side. Really finding the length. Breathing into your belly. And coming all the way back to center. Stretch your legs out long in front of you and then just lift one bum, the other bum, one bum, the other bum. We're just easing into the deep of our lower back and then roll through your belly. Just have a deep circle. Last movement of deep. Deep belly circle is a good way to end. I just feel that. You know, we've journeyed. Some of you popped in and out. Some of you have been here every single time. I just notice as you roll, as you round, what's changed in your relationship to your body and your relationship to how you feel in this deep of this winter? Oh, arching your back, rounding your back, arching your back. And rounding. Come to sit into a cross-legged position. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And just feel the life as it moves within you. And feeling the pulsation, the heart, and the movement of your breath. You know, life is motion. We are in motion you know it's that amazing thing when they were explaining why the solstice happens it was like it was polyrhythmic there was this spinning of the sun and then the moving of the no the spinning of the planet uh, the earth and the moving of the sun and then this bigger circle that it went around in and what i was struck with wasn't really understanding what it was is that like everything is in motion and so right now just feel that you the forces that uh, created the universe are within you. You know, you are in motion. Every cell in you is spiraling, spinning, responding to gravity, being pulled by the moon. I just feel that in this moment. You are utterly connected to everything around you. And we just need to notice that. You are connected to this community, this amazing tribe of yogis. You are connected to me. You are connected to planet Earth, this amazing Earth you sit upon. You're connected, connected to the skies and the, the celestial bodies of the planets as they move around us. You know, to every person in your life, every animal in your life, every plant in your life. All connected. I'd just like us all to just bring our hands together and just, just honor each and every one of us for being here today. I'm so filled with gratitude for this practice, this amazing journey. How oh, beautiful. And may you see the light in everything, you know, the gratitude, the wellness. May you see the light in everybody around you. Um, may you be well. Uh, may you inspire joy. Um, so great, guys. This has been so beautiful.
Um, I will, the morning crew, ye awesome folk, I will see you on the 1st of January. And the 1st of January, the class is at 10 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> and then after that, it's at 7. And um, great. Be well. And thank you so much. Oh, and also the Solstice class this evening, but that's up on YouTube the whole time. So, so all of you who you've got an invitation to do the Zoom, you don't have to do Zoom. You can watch it on Facebook. You can watch it on YouTube anytime. And if you want to, you can attend Zoom. Ciao.